My experience with BGF goes back to when Bobby Goldsmith was still alive and in 1984 when he got really sick a group of us got together to raise some funds to help provide him with the things he needed. So we basically put on a party, we charged people and they raised the money they needed. But there was more money than was, was needed. So the group of guys that organised it went on to create the Bobby Goldsmith Foundation. In its early days, BGF did not have a large staff component and relied very much on people who had an interest in the area and skills and expertise. And the rest of us uh, pinched time away from our jobs. I've lost too many, too many friends, you know. When, when the gay plague, as it was called at the beginning, burst upon us, I was like barely 22 and so I've been living with this my whole life. St Vincent's Hospital weren't geared to it. We had to form contingents of uh, friends to come and pick the food up off the floor that was left there, morning, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and take it into the ward because the wards people wouldn't go in. BGF is a, a very special organisation. It acts as an awareness raiser within the community. It provides people with a conduit or an insight into what the human side and human impact of HIV is. If they become too ill to work, there is a, an important agency that's not judgmental. I mean, you can't, you can't underestimate that. You know, there was no government department to provide these sort of things to the extent that it was needed. If people like BGF didn't do it, these guys were going to just die lonely. My experience with BGF, a couple of years ago, um, I, was in, I was in trouble, I was spiralling, and um, I had no one. I was homeless and a, um, BGF was, I thought, the last... Um, last step or they gave me a lifeline really. Uh, asking for assistance or going to a charity organisation is um, never easy. We now talk to a client about all aspects of their life and so we don't just provide financial support, we have a look at what's really going on for them. I think BGF's been able to do is be particularly responsive to changing needs as time goes on. I think the biggest achievement is that it's here, it's still here 25 years later, the staff here are very good at being able to put people at ease and make it a comfortable experience, one that is not belittling to the individuals involved. Why ever you come in here, doesn't matter, you're always welcomed and there's a lot of compassion and a lot of caring here and I really appreciate that. I think over the years BGF has given people dignity. People who are dying, who are ill, who are unwell, suffering. There was an advertising campaign with Ron Handley who was a well-known Sydney drag queen, Fanny Farquhar. And there's this fabulous poster of Ron as a man in his underwear saying, I hope that when I die of AIDS I have clean underwear. And to me that was, you know, supporting that whole thing of having dignity and only Fanny could have gotten away with that. I think there will always be a place for, for BGF. The changing face of, of HIV, we've always made sure that we've kept in line with that changing face. So if we need to expand and go beyond New South Wales, Possibly we will. Fundraising for HIV and AIDS is probably one of the hardest forms of fundraising. I don't know that people realise just how difficult it is. And thank God that um, we have an organisation with a lot of people that are involved and I know it's going to carry on. And I just feel safe and, and positive. Great things like this happen every day for me and for hundreds hundreds of clients and they're going to need support and uh, we're always going to need BGF. Which word best sums up BGF? Only one, I only get one. I think that the word would have to be consistency. Stability. Compassion. Dignity. Brother. Relentless.
Keep going. Happy anniversary. I think he'd be thrilled that it was named after him. I really do. And that they're using a very young, flattering photo of him for, for promoting. He's got some great photos. Yes. He was an icon for the gay community. I don't think the people that started BGF, that did that first party, had any idea where it was going. We did it because it was needed. And I was involved in my way. There were lots of in people who were involved in different ways. It's become something that's really fabulous. And I think those people would be really pleased to know um, where it's gone.